Hey everyone, in this video I'm just going to quickly show you how I've built this AV um, switcher and um, it's so simple, I don't, I'm not going to need to build this for you um, on the spot because I can just explain how it's wired um, and you should just be able to follow it but before we do that, I'll just go over a few options that you can do you don't have to do something as simple as this you can do something a bit more complicated with um, status LEDs so when you hit the, hit the button it'll show you which channel is on and which channel is off uh, actually, sorry, I should just say an AB switcher, in case you're not sure, is just a, uh, a, little, a little switch pretty much that you've got your input going in um, on the side here and then uh, it will, when you press the button it will switch between um, one output and the other output. So if you've got, for instance, you're playing live and you've got like a distortion on this one and a modulation on this one, um, you can switch between distortion and modulation with just one switch or if you've got multiple pedals connected um, to each channel, you know, you can switch between two complicated um, pedal setups, if that makes sense. You can also use it for comparisons too, which is what I use it for. If you've got a Tube Screamer clone and an original clone, for instance, you can quickly switch between the two without having to unplug one and plug the other one in or pull your guitar um, cable out of one and plug it into the other one. You get an instant um, comparison, um, which makes it much easier to hear, hear subtle differences um, in tone. So you do have a few options. Um, you can make something a little bit more complicated than this if you feel inclined. Um, you can have LEDs that will show you which channel is active and which one isn't, as I said before. Um, you can also you have, there's ones I've seen with, you know, uh, mixer potentiometers, so you can mix the two outputs um, uh, and, you know, like buffers on each output and all sorts of fancy stuff like that. But for this, it's a 10 minute build, so it's going to be uh, this one which I built some time ago because um, it's nice and simple. So, one thing you need to take into account just before we start looking at the inside of the, um, of the ABY switcher is the um, jack and how the jack works. I've explained this a few times, but if you've just come onto this video and you don't know how it works, I'll give you another quick um, explanation. <clears throat> basically on the um, you've got you've got two lugs you've got this lug on the outside which is connected to the tip and then you've got the shield which is on the inside of the lug and you can see that that's actually directly connected see that lug that just sits off the side there that's connected to the inside of of the guitar cable and I'll just grab a guitar cable so you can see why uh, how that actually how the how the jack actually works so on the guitar cable, this part here is the shield and this part is the tip, obviously. Um, so when you plug that in, you'll see that the, the inside of the jack is actually now connected to the shield bit that I just showed you and the tip is connected to the tip. So um, that's basically how the, how the um, jack works in that respect. So if you've got a plastic enclosure, you will need to connect all the grounds, the shields, together. Um, and I'll show you how to wire that up. So when I say shield, remember I'm talking about this inner, uh, the one that, the lug that's connected to the inside of the jack. You'll need to connect them all together, but if you use a metal enclosure, you won't because a metal enclosure um, uh, makes a connection between these three jacks um, through the actual enclosure because you've got a connection between the thread of the jack and the enclosure. I had this plastic um, enclosure lying around, um, so I just thought that I'd use that instead of um, instead of using a uh, buying a metal one. I just thought I'd make use with some few parts that I had on hand. So here's how it's wired up, and hopefully this is nice and straightforward. I'll try and explain this as, as easily as, as easily as I can. I'll have a look for a simple wiring diagram. Hopefully I can find one, and I'll leave it in the description if I can find one for you so you can follow that as well. But it's really simple, I mean, you probably should be able to just find the, uh, just follow what I'm saying here. So that's the input, with just because it's upside down, it's around the other way now. That's the input, those two are the two outputs. And you've got the, um, the input lug here. Um, red is, these red wires are the uh, input and output wires, and the black wires, which you're probably gonna have trouble seeing, but I'll, again, I'll point them out in a minute. They're the shields. So you've got the input lug um, connected to this top lug up here, and then the next one down, um, you've got this this lug, uh, this 
lug on the on the double pole, pole double throw is connected to the first um, channel output. You can connect it to either one; it doesn't matter. And then the next one is shield, and I'll explain where, what happens with that in a minute. And then the one up the top here is also shield, and then the next one down is connected to the other channel, so it'll be connected to up here. So that one is connected to there. And make sure when you're soldering these on that you're connecting them to the right ones like I showed you before. You're connecting them to the right lug, not the shield lug, the input lug. And then the bottom one down here is actually connected up, back up to the top here. So for the shield, you've just basically got the shield, the shield lug of, of the input jack um, goes, up to, uh, goes up to this lug up here. And then that is connected down here to this lug down here. And you've also got these two lugs, these two shield lugs. Um, this one connects to this one, and then this one connects around and back up to the um, to the input jack. So you can see that that wire that goes from here to here, and then around and up to here, connects all three of those shield lugs I've shown you before, because. I'm using a plastic enclosure. See, if you had a metal enclosure, you wouldn't need to run that shield to that shield and back up to this to this shield. Um, that, that that wouldn't be necessary. So that's it. It's as simple as that. You just wire it up in that manner, um, and it's um, it's it's quite simple to put together. Um, you can do more complicated ones if you want to have the LED status on the front. And um, I, I originally didn't do the LED um, status. Uh, sorry, the status LEDs because I thought that you'd have to have the power plugged in to be able to use the switcher, but that's not the case. If you don't have the DC um, power plugged into the um, into the into the pedal, um, the switcher will still work. You just won't be able to see the LEDs. So it's kind of optional to have the power plugged in so you can see the LEDs. Um, so yeah, I, I mean it, it can get a bit confusing if you don't have the LEDs on which ones which. Um, sometimes I have to unplug it from the pedal and just put my finger on it and, and flick between to see which one's which one's actually active and which one's not. Um, so that can be a bit confusing. An LED would make it a little bit uh, a little bit easier to see which channel is on and which channel's off. But it gets a little bit more complicated. Um, but have a, if you want that um, sort of setup, just have a look around uh, on the forums and you'll find there's plenty of um, switching um, uh, wiring diagrams for that, and they're all pretty straightforward. So that's the AB switcher, pretty simple to put together. One of those things that's pretty handy to have um, around sometimes when you want to make a comparison or um, you want to quickly switch between, um, you know, like uh, like two pedals on one channel and then two pedals on the other. It's kind of you got to be pretty quick to to go, you know, off off on on. Particularly in a live situation, it's not really going to work that well. So that's where something like this can come in handy. So yeah, if you've got any questions, um, uh, ask in the um, uh, in the comments. Um, and uh, yeah, if you've got any comments, leave them. Um, if you need any clarification on the wiring, just let me know. I'll try and find that wiring diagram and leave it in the description for you. Um, uh, yeah, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. I uh, really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe and all that sort of stuff. And uh, thanks for watching.